I've done it before. You guys got to learn the language before you come to this country, okay? You got to hang out with you, man. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you're right on the And I'm doing it again. Eight years later, posing as a Latino day laborer to see firsthand what people will do when our cashier refuses to serve me. So I did this before, and now we're going to do it again. Pura vida. Oh, dos cafés con leche. You got to speak English, Un man. Un poquito de azúcar. I don't speak Mexican, so. Señor, por favor. Tenemos dinero. Aquí tenemos dinero. I know, but I mean, how do I know you guys are legal anyway? What does that have anything to do with it? Look at this guy. He's got so, Viva Mexico on his shirt. What does that have to do with any of it? I know, but think about it. These guys are here taking our jobs. Oh, so you're not going to feed them? They taxes. got cash, you're not going to feed them? Well, well, I mean, I, that money's got blood on it. I mean, how's it got you know, blood on it? Because who knows where it came from? Drugs, prostitution. If we're not going to construct a wall and stop the illegal immigration, who the f is are it going to you? end? Like, where did you come from? Like, you're just a hateful. Time to let them know it's all an act. You know, it's a. I'm John Quinones with oh, ABC yeah. News. What would oh. you <laughs> You don't know us? We could be, we're strangers to you. You're American, though. That's all that matters. What if I don't speak English? So what? Thank you for speaking out. Yes, sir. Man. If this had been real, <laughs> yeah. I would have been very appreciative. Yeah, Thank you. We roll again. I think you guys need to go, you know? There's a taco place across the street. I'm sure they speak Spanish. Tacos. You know? No, I must get I dos cafés. Dos dos cafés. Dos cafés. Get the Viva Mexico shirt on. It's like I mean, it's not what shirt they got on. But I mean, you're American, right? No, I'm Puerto Rican, actually. But, but you're an American citizen. Doesn't matter, but I'm foreign. I speak Spanish. That was my natural language. Right. But so you're now legal. I learned English. They, they, they don't speak English. Por favor, nada más que los dos cafés. You got papers? Papeles. Uh, this one, do you need papers to order coffee? But our employee, Brian, is not done with us just yet. Let's try it again. English, English, we're in America. You gotta speak English. Okay, yes. I mean, come on, at least you could have done was learn English before you snuck over. Senor. That's not their fault. If you had somebody who spoke Spanish to them, they could help them. But they, they break the law just by coming over. You don't know that they're doing that. Yeah, but I mean, they don't you don't know that they're doing that. So I'm sorry, I don't wanna get into it. I just wanna help I them. Time to break the scene. You said this is not the way to bring Americans together. Right. Do you see some divisiveness in this country? No doubt. But I think it's a small number of people that are like that. You know, I think there's many more people like me that would stand up and say that's wrong. I hope. I still have hope. What's the moral of the story here? Because we're all human beings, and we all need help at some point. And we should be there for each other. Regardless of skin color or Absolutely. accent? Absolutely. We're human beings. It's the human race. It's not your color or my color or we're people.